All right, what's up boys? Welcome back to the channel. Before we jump into today's video, I do wanna say I myself have not been affected by any of these so-called hacks or issues with Black Ops 3. I also haven't played the game in a few days, so it might be happening and I'm just not experiencing it. But today we're gonna to talk about Black Ops 3. It is apparently hacked to all shit. Apparently you can't play it. You can't join your friend's zombie games. You can't play Black Ops 3 multiplayer and we're going to talk about why so it's no secret call of duty they are launching black ops 6 here shortly in less than a month it's actually coming out in less than a month and for some reason black ops 3 just so happens to go down and to be hacked just a few days ago now i don't want to call this a coincidence i don't want to say it's call of duty's fault i don't want to say it's you know whoever it might it could be anything right I don't really have any hard facts, but doing some research online, watching a few videos, it is apparent that Black Ops 3 is not playable currently. It is being hacked. There are instances where people are hacking computers. They're getting into people's computers, controlling them remotely. And that's going to be a problem, obviously, if you're playing the game. But multiplayer, zombies, you know, whether you're private, whether you're with friends, or whether you're joining someone random online, apparently the game is hacked and it is not playable at its current state. Now, something I wanna talk about, it is kind of random. I don't wanna say random. It's actually quite coincidental that this hack or this outage on Black Ops 3 happens to coincide with the release of Black Ops 6. Obviously, Call of Duty, less than a month ago, sent a cease and desist to the H2M mod community that actually created that modern warfare 2 remastered game so it's a little awkward it's a little weird that black ops 3 a game that everyone loves the mod community is ridiculously good the support the maps you know the zombie maps obviously you see a bunch of those on this channel it's kind of odd that right when black ops 6 is about to release Black Ops 3 goes to shit, it's being hacked, people are running into issues, and it's it's very strange. I don't want to say it's bad timing, but it is quite the coincidence and quite unique timing for that to happen. Now, like I said, with the H2M mod, Call of Duty, you know, absolutely scummy behavior. H2, if you don't know, H2M, they released a mod. It basically runs on the Modern Warfare Remastered engine. You do need the game to play it. And you basically download Remastered, you download this H2M mod, and then it is basically a carbon copy of the old MW2 that everyone loved. It's it's the same game, it runs the same, you know, it functions the same, it's the same fun. It's it's just perfect, right? Call of Duty sent a cease and desist to H2M and basically told them, hey, you can't make this mod even though you just put all this work into it. We know your release date. On the release date, we're going to cancel it, cease and desist you, and now you can't do it. So, for one, Call of Duty has a very bad reputation. Uh, I think that's clear by now. No one really trusts them. It's, it's pretty crappy of them to do that. And two, if you look at every Call of Duty, you know, since, I don't know, Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, something like that. Call of Duties have gotten worse and worse every year, in my opinion. There are some one-offs here and there. You know, MW 2019, I loved that game. That was a really good game for me. Um, MW 2 Remastered, I, I like that. I think that's what it was called. Maybe it's just called MW 2. Uh, but I did like those games. I had fun playing them. I didn't really have complaints. You know, it, it had its own unique variation. The gunfights were good, but realistically from black ops 4 i would say the trend of call of duty has gone down because it's the implementation of battle passes you know pay to play metas you know fancy skins it's it's just it's changed so much since og call of duty to what it is now that i think call of duty in general has gone downhill i think most people would agree with that to be honest with you so that's kind of strike two you know h2m pretty scummy every call of duty since black ops 4 pretty scummy going downhill bad and then strike three look at black ops 3 right now you can't play it it's being hacked it just so happens to coincide with the black ops 6 release and if you think that's a coincidence you know you might be you might be slow you might be gullible i don't think it's it's a coincidence i think it is call of duty similar to the h2m mod they sent the cease and desist they said hey you're going to interfere with our black ops 6 sales we need you to cease and desist don't make this mod you can't do it anymore i think they're doing the same thing but unbelievably they're doing it to their own game they're doing it to black ops 3 everyone loves black ops 3 like i don't i don't really know anyone that doesn't like the game obviously i, I love the zombies i don't really care for the multiplayer but the zombies and the zombie community and the mods and the people that play all these maps for a game that is 10 years old is like remarkable it's it's honestly unbelievable it's such a good game it has such a good community such a good foundation and call of duty is basically saying 
well, you know, we love that you like this game, but it's too good. And we're going to start nerfing this game. So you buy our new one. To me, that is the ultimate, ultimate scummy behavior. You sold your customers a video game. I don't care if it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. I really don't care. You sold us a game and now you're saying, well, we're releasing a new game. So we're going to nerf this game. We're going to make it unplayable. We're going to, we're going to move the data servers to China where it's less secure. It, it's, oh, it's just so, so scummy. And coming from a person, a YouTuber that my my channel's literally solely based around Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 zombies, World of War zombies, but really 99% is Black Ops 3. So to see this happening, incredibly frustrating. It, it makes me very mad to see this happening. I, I paid for Black Ops 3. I want to play Black Ops 3. I don't want there to be hackers. Like, it, it's your literal job as a company. Also, Call of Duty was bought by Microsoft. Three trillion dollar company, by the way. Call of Duty alone, 70 billion dollars. And you can't secure your data centers you can't stop hackers from getting into a person's computer that is insane there's no excuse for a three trillion dollar company or 100 billion dollar company whatever you want to call it no excuse for a company that big to let their own customers be at risk because they don't want to work on a game that's a little bit old there, there's no excuse now like i said there are countless examples of people online whether it's twitter whether it's steam reddit you know you can find plenty of examples out there of people being hacked people being not able to join their friends on black ops 3 you know just countless examples of people not being able to play the game that they paid for by the way and that is call of duty's own game this isn't a mod. This isn't a, you know, this isn't a side project from someone else. This is literally their own video game that we all paid $60 for. I just want to throw that out there. The own publisher is nerfing their own video game because they are worried it's still too popular and it's going to affect the Black Ops 6 sales when it releases. That is crazy. That is that is crazy. I cannot believe that. As a player, as a customer, as a person that enjoys Call of Duty video games, I cannot believe that this is even happening. This should be borderline illegal in my opinion. I, I, I truly can't believe it's happening. And one thing I wanna add, if Black Ops 3, you know, it's considered like a live service game. So it runs on servers, it's online only. It requires you to connect to the internet, right? So if you buy it on Steam or whatever publisher, whatever uh, client that you use, you're basically relying on Call of Duty and that publisher to stay in business to continue playing the game, right? But Call of Duty does have a say when they can discontinue the servers and the live service. To me, it's just my humble opinion. If Call of Duty has the right to do that, I fully support anyone out there that can hack, not hack, that can pirate Call of Duty and get it for free, I fully support it. If that's the game we're gonna play, if it's, if it's hey, you pay me, but I get to decide when I, when I cancel this or, or when I want to nerf this, you know, whatever it is, whatever wording you want to use. I truly, truly believe if that's the game we're going to play, if you can pirate this, if you can get it for free, I, I fully support it. I fully support it. There's no reason we should be playing this game with a trillion dollar company, multi-trillion dollar company, and you just have to bend to their will as a customer because they released a new game. Absolutely pathetic. You should not have to do that. Fully, fully support. If you can get the game for free safely, totally recommend doing it. Like I said, boys, this situation is completely screwed. I don't think anyone really wins here. You know, the community's screwed. Black Ops 3 customers are screwed. Uh, I think this is gonna bite Call of Duty in the ass eventually. So Call of Duty's gonna be screwed, maybe. You know, they're pretty big, but really just a bad situation overall. I'm not a fan. I truly hope this isn't the case. I hope Black Ops 3 is not gonna be hacked and compromised. I, I hope it makes a return like you know, I hope the publisher, Activision, Treyarch, whoever it is, I don't remember. I hope they get their shit together. I hope they can make amends with the community. Understand we bought the game. We're a customer. We're a paying customer. You know, make the game playable. Make it safe. It shouldn't be that difficult in my opinion. You know, I understand it's a 10 year old game and maybe you don't want to put resources into securing the game and making it safe. But I mean, it's your literal job. It, it's literally your job. You sold the game. You push DLC. You push battle passes. You push all this stuff. And just because it's a little older, you want to stop supporting it. You want to... you. you 
basically are saying fuck you to the players, to the customers, to the paying customers. Makes no sense to me, but that's all I got for you today, boys. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. I'm, I'm clearly not a fan. I hope this is resolved. I'm a huge Black Ops 3 guy, and you know, hopefully I can continue making zombie videos. I absolutely love it. You know, I planned on buying Black Ops 6 when it releases. Obviously, the new zombies had me pretty excited, but oh, it's tough to support this kind of behavior, boys. First H2M, you know, now this. Every Call of Duty's kind of going downhill. Ooh, it's getting tough, boys. It's getting tough. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I look forward to hearing your input. I see all the comments. I respond to all of them. So let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace.